Hey there guys, welcome to the next Halloween related tutorial here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. I'm going to be showing you how to use duct tape to decorate a pumpkin in this video. It's going to be kind of cool. So let me grab my pumpkin down here so I'll give you guys an idea of what we're going to be doing. It's really heavy. I don't know why my family decided to get a Donkey Kong sized pumpkin this year. But uh, this, is the kind, this is the pumpkin that we're, I'm going to be using to show you and you will need a pumpkin for this tutorial if you are going to follow along with what I'm going to be doing. So let's get started here on decorating this pumpkin. Alright, so before we decorate our pumpkin here, we have to complete one very important step and that's trying to make sure that the pumpkin surface is as clean as possible. So you can just get, you know, like a paper towel, you know, wet it a little bit and then just simply clean off the surface that you're going to stick some duct tape onto. And uh, the reason that we do this is because whenever you're sticking adhesive to any surface, you want to make sure that it's totally clean of dust and dirt and everything like that because that will prevent it from really sticking down. So just take, a, you know, like a damp paper towel or something like this and then, you know, just wipe it off a little bit, dry it, and then we'll have a clean surface that we can work with for the duct tape. So now the surface of our pumpkin is pretty clean, now we can start to stick some duct tape onto it. Now one of the ways that you can decorate with duct tape is to simply cut out, you know, designs and decorations just like you would for your wallets and your paintings, and then just stick them right onto the pumpkin here. That's one of the ways you can do it. I would probably recommend you do that on the opposite side that you're carving. So if your family wants to carve, you know, this side of the pumpkin, you can stick all your duct tape decals on the other side here, and then that, that won't conflict with it at all. But I'm actually going to teach you how to do something really cool in this tutorial, and that's kind of mask the duct tape on there so that you don't actually know it's there even when you do carve the same side that you're sticking stuff onto. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. It's a really cool way and it's a little more complex than just, you know, sticking designs right onto the pumpkin, which pretty much anyone can do. All right, so I'm going to start sticking these tape pieces onto the pumpkin here. The pumpkin surface isn't exactly, you know, totally smooth and it certainly has a lot of bumps and lines onto it, so you want to kind of you know, just work with those as best you can. This is kind of a, just a design that I found on, uh, just online pretty much. It's just a simple kind of Grim, Grim uh, Reaper kind of mask. And I'm sure, I'll explain to you exactly what I'm doing in a second, but I want to get all these on here and then I will uh, explain exactly how this works. Because it's actually really neat the way that you can decorate with duct tape on the pumpkins. And it's actually really cool I'm going to show you how I'm doing in here. So now you can start to see that face take shape. And I did make it yellow for a definite reason. So I'm going to put that right about there. And now I'll explain to you exactly what I'm doing. So by itself, that looks pretty cool. But I, what I want you to do is imagine that these yellow pieces are actually pieces that you would cut out of the pumpkin. So imagine these yellow pieces being the light that would shine through the pumpkin and then everything that you see with the actual pumpkin color is still there. So this, we'll pretend that this is all cut out. It would look really cool and it would just, you know, just be that design right there. But the bottom line is that these pieces are dark, obviously, because they're being outshone by the pieces that are that are cut through. Now I want what I want to show you is how you can turn an image that's kind of scary looking into something that's actually pretty funny looking. So I'm going to put one eye right here and you can tell that looks kind of silly already but I'm going to uh, stick the other eye on here and these are going to go in between. Now remember I'm sticking these on portions of the pumpkin that are not cut out so I'm, you could easily do this if you had carved out all these yellow pieces. And I'm going to stick finally a tongue right here on the bottom. Right there. I mean, now look at it. It looks pretty silly, doesn't it? But the fact is that you could do this onto a pumpkin that you've carved out because all of these pieces that make it look silly are stuck on pieces that, of where the pumpkin would still be. And since the light is shining out from these yellow pieces or where you would cut into it, you can't see these pieces with the eyes and the tongue. So unless you, you, you know, you're know shown like a flashlight on it or something like that or turned on the lights. So you can add a whole new dimension to your duct tape art on your pumpkins and people won't even see it like on a Halloween night when it's nice and dark out unless they shine like a flashlight on it or something like that. It, has, it pretty much adds a whole new dimension to the uh, way you can decorate here. Now another design that I want to show you real quick is this haunted house which I cut out. Same basic principle, the yellow is what you would cut out of the pumpkin so this would obviously be like that kind of yellow color from the candle inside. But since everything in between here is still solid pumpkin you can put all kinds of designs on it. Now once 
at first glance, if you cut this out of a pumpkin, it would look like a really cool haunted house. But shine the flashlight over it, and it's got flower pots underneath the, uh, the windows and a bell on the top. It could be a schoolhouse for all you know. It doesn't look very scary at all. And it's kind of funny because this is kind of the flip side. It looks scary when it's just, you know, totally dark out because all you can see is the haunted house. But shine the flashlight over it, and it turns into a totally different looking building. And you can add a whole bunch of cool things into any of the pieces in between here, which would still be part of the actual pumpkin and not cut out. So that's just a, it, it pretty much just illustrates a few cool ways that you can just decorate your pumpkins and kind of add that extra, a kind of a ghosting effect to uh, the designs here. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on just giving you some great information on ways that you can decorate your pumpkin here. There are a lot of great ways. Like I said before, all you have to do is just stencil out your designs and your decorations just like you would if you were putting them on like a wallet or a painting, but just stick them on your pumpkins instead. I did show you that ghosting effect which you can put things on the dark parts of the pumpkin and people will never see them unless they sh shine a flashlight on or something like that. Another great idea is the glow-in-the-dark tape. You could cut out, you know, your, uh, your jack-o'-lantern like just a simple jack lantern with the uh, the triangles, but then put like a glow in the dark mustache on it. And the glow in the dark is that kind of you know, um, you know, kind of just faded color. I'll why not? I'll show you so you can see what it looks like. So there's the glow in the dark tape, and you can make your mustache out of that, for example, on your uh, you know your jack o' lantern, and it would give it that kind of that sickly green color, which the glow in the dark tape is, and it would look really cool. So uh, that's hopefully just gives you guys some great ideas on what you can do. Uh, the glow in the dark tape you can get at Michael's Arts and Crafts Store. They sell for about $10 a roll, but Walmart also sells it for about $5 a roll. So you can guess probably where you want to get it. And it is only 10 feet, so you don't get too much. So definitely use it wisely. So uh, that's just a little bit of an info video on decorating your pumpkin with duct tape. Catch you guys next time on the channel.